2010, my husband and I began to remodel the kitchen of our 109-year-old home. Little did we know that 10 years and five kids later, we would still be working on completing the project. Please join us while we work towards building a center island and completing the lower stove cabinets, all by March 31st, 2020. Welcome to the Snail's Pace Challenge. Welcome back to another Saturday Snails Pays Challenge. Yes, it is late. It is 10.30 tonight. I'm going to attempt to edit this. It's going to be a short video, a short update, or else this will never get update uploaded before midnight. But I'm going to let you see what Art's doing right now. Right now, I am circling the chart. Wow, look, look at, at that. that. Will I keep going? Will I... Of course. Yes. There you go. The last four were the shelves. And, well, you don't see them here right now because they're down in the basement. And I, work, I had to work on them. I had to make these little things that you put on the end so it looks nice and all that. And now I'm working on the shelves that go in here. Yay, these are for my 9 by 13 pans. Yay! Right. So I'm working on that now. And so as for the staining and finishing, we need to, Charity and I need to finish that up. Um, a bunch of it is actually done and this needs to get assembled and that nice. will actually give Art some checks here. But you know what, every day we're limited to only so many <laughs> hours in a day and that makes it hard to get it all done. But we made some changes to our plans. We are not doing the butcher block on the top. I did a lot of research this week about it and just decided I don't think the butcher block is the right choice for our family right now, considering the stage of life we're in and how busy things are. I just would hate for it to get wrecked, and I would say there's a high likelihood in my life that that would happen. So Art went out to the barn, and we found the countertop. I think it's called MDF. I think that's what I told you. Oh, I don't it's, it's pretty much um, press board that you use plywood and then you stack it to get it the right depth and then he found what he thinks is enough countertop what we currently have because we originally when we bought this bought extra for the back part of the room which we haven't done yet so we're gonna use what we have which means it should be free or very close to free if we need anything it'll be what contact cement yes if it's not gone bad over a decade <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that we got that figured out. That was a big deal. Took a lot of time. Um, next week, we're going to finish, finish up his list. We're going to order those hinges, decide on the knobs, and, and yeah. decide on our next snail's pace challenge. Uh, this is uh, phase one. And yep. We'll have at least three phases, maybe four. Art and I have been doing a lot of walking and a lot of chatting and making plans of how we want to do this. So the family is still running well. The house is still staying maintained because when you're in the state of construction, there's a lot of dust, there's a lot of mess. We don't want to lose all that hard work we've put into the house, keeping it neat and clean. But on the other hand, we know we need to get projects done. So we've been talking about how we can implement all these things, still accomplishing our goals. And next week's video, we're gonna talk all about that and those plans. I'm gonna end this right here so I can go ahead and edit it and get this up for you guys. As always, thank you so much for cheering us on. Oh, here comes oh, Art. Before you <laughs> turn it off. All right, what you got show there? i you what I did. Here is the shelf. And what I did, and I don't, know if, I don't know how the lighting is here. I'll turn it, there we go. I made these little things here with a little slot. Okay, and then right. that just, then so that just like a cap. The, yeah, so that it doesn't look bad, because you don't want, you don't want to see that every time you open the door. Yeah, so, so this is, he designed a really yeah. nice looking piece right there. And it actually went pretty quick today. Yeah, so it went a lot faster than I thought, and it's rare to have things go faster. And you did one on both sides, Let's right? Let's see, this is the front top left, so that would be this one right here, and I'll, yes. Uh, a little no. fit? This way. There we go. And I'll show you how it looks in here. There. Look at that. Isn't that That's nice? Looking good. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned next Saturday for another Snail's Pace Challenge update with all the details. Hopefully our last one. Yeah. All right. Have a great Easter, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Good night.